What's up, Neil? How's it going? All right, yourself, All right, man. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the uh, HDN stand. It's nice to see you. Uh, I've met Neil last year, and uh, he told me he's going to come by and let me show you a little bit of our new products that we have this year. So let's get straight to it. Um, before you do, though, before oh. you do, who's this guy up here? Oh, I don't know. I think it's a colleague of mine, maybe a, a relative. Looks you know? dodgy to me. It looks like a lot like me, yeah, eh? Yeah, looks a bit dodgy. Yeah, I think I, I think I look better than him, though. Yeah, don't I? slimmer. Yeah, slimmer. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got to keep up, not me. <laughs> <laughs> cool, buddy. All right, well, let's show the goods. Um, cool. Most probably you guys have seen the new 30 caliber slugs uh, on Neil's channel. And uh, I can definitely tell you guys this one is fantastic. It is the first time there was a high powered hunting slug in the H&N lineup. Um, these new slug HP2 30 cal slugs comes in two weights, 50 and 54 grains. Uh, I took these bad boys out a little while ago. I don't know if you guys saw that, but took them out down to California, did a bit of squirrel hunting. Yes, I know it is a bit of overkill, <laughs> Neil. Neil is looking at me, why 30? Well. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> like I always said, uh, when you hunt, you hunt and something has to go down. So th yeah. the way it goes down, it doesn't really matter, yeah. you know. I mean, you could have just used a missile oh, as well. Oh, sure. Nuclear or, bomb. Or, or I could have used this. That's true. Because squirrels, good enough. And talking about new stuff, here's the new 8-grain Barracuda pellets. Mm. And also, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, but you have the 8-grain uh, FT pellets and you're ready. But you knew the new 8-grain Barracuda pellets is awesome. You know why it's awesome? Because these pellets we've designed and developed to shoot in much more barrels. And they've got a little bit of a secret sauce in them that makes them a little bit more better. I will say, in my opinion, mm. in all the barrels out there. So, Secret sauce? Yeah, well, secret sauce is secret sauce. And I'm not going to tell oh, you what okay. the secret sauce okay, is. Okay. But I can definitely vow that this is good. And I say this because, for those who don't know, I'm also in competitive shooting in uh, the 177 class. I am a 25 meter bench with shooter for South Africa, and I use 8 grain pellets in my setups. So, believe okay. me, they work really, really well. So, I'm very excited about that. And it's the first time I'm actually more excited about this than I is about that no, because, no. you know, pellets. It still stays close to my heart. Yeah, yeah. Even though I destroy and break everything that I shoot with the slugs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's in a nutshell, and I'm pretty sure you guys have followed along and uh, know that we've got the 177 slugs, we've got the 22s, we've got the 25s. Yeah. Um, and then we, you know, introduced the 30 cal now, and then uh, this year we started to work with some pellets, um, revisiting a couple of the weights again and. This is just the first kickoff of a redo of the eight grains. So, uh, like I said, okay. you, you're gonna want to shoot this a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. Especially, especially the guys down there in the UK, give this a go, mate. I promise you, you're gonna, it's gonna be definitely worth it okay. at the end of the day. So what, what advice would you give to someone who's wanting to start out using slugs? Uh, okay. Or is it, it just... No, it's a good question. Is that, yeah. is that a long question? No, it's not a long question. It's actually... <laughs> long a very, answer. No, short well, question with a long answer. Short, I can give you... The best answer I can give you is don't just go for one slug, one weight. Go for a few slugs and do testing. Uh, every single barrel is different and I'm not talking about uh, specifically one manufacturer, all of them. Every single barrel is a little bit, bit uh, a little bit different. Yeah. So you're going to have to play around with caliber size, meaning diameters like 217, 218. Uh, if you go into two fives, three zeros, you can try the calibers and also weight specific. Right. Um, and uh, if you guys want to do start playing around with slugs and you're moving from the pellets over to the slugs I will place the first thing I will tell you is make sure your gun has enough power to push them yeah all the slugs out there I will say in my opinion you want to at least the minimum shoot them around about 900 up to a thousand feet per second I know you guys are sub 12 foot pound down there so if you want really have good results that's where you're gonna to have to push yeah. them but I'm also not saying that it won't work if yeah, you yeah. shoot them slower. Yeah, yeah. That's something that you guys have to try out down there. But sure. there are a lot of guys with FACs. So oh they, yes, yeah, for sure. You know, and you guys, you, I mean, you can shoot them as hard and fast as you want. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. stick, I will say in my opinion, stick to the ranges. If you have those licenses, go out there, you shoot them anything between 900 and 1,000 feet per second, then they will be good to go. Yeah. 
I tried the 177 slugs yep. uh, only the other week. Yep. And I found them pretty good. They're pretty good. Pretty good. I must yeah. say they are very more sensitive towards the 22s, 25s, and 30s to tune. Yeah. So you guys have to go and play around with speed. Speed is very uh, crucial when it comes down to a 177 pellet and the slugs. Yeah. So yeah. play around with the speed. Um, I will say that the, the best performance I got out of them is anything between 900 to 950 feet per second. I had a FX impact which I, which, which I used in one of my videos yeah. and I shot them at 930 feet per second and if you watch that video, uh, hopefully maybe Neil can put a link into yeah, that one. Link in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a link into that video. I shot those um, RX and those Dassies in South Africa all the way out to 150 yards wow. with a 177 slug. Wow. I mean, it's just mind-boggling to think yeah, how yeah, far yeah. we came with yeah. projectiles now. So would you, so anyone that's got like um, an air rifle that you can't mm. sort of tune, just like a normal PCP, yep. and also brake barrels, or brake barrels, yeah, yes, oh, I never give that a thought. I tell you, I tell you this, why not? Everything just is try possible. Them. To try, try them, them yeah. Um, do know that obviously, if you don't have regulators, you're going to have to work with a peak. There is yeah. a sweet spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously, you need to find the sweet spot where your gun is. Find out where's that nice curve, uh, that band that you need to work in. And then when you know that band, it doesn't matter if it's a pellet or a slug, first see in what band the, the, the gun is most consistent in, use that band and then start shooting the pellets or the slugs and test in that band. That way you will have the full potential to see what works the best in your gun. Okay, good advice, good advice. So, awesome. Well, Thank you, buddy. Cheers for that. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for popping ever. by. Hope but, to see you soon. Yeah. I just keep away from that fellow. Oh yeah, there, please. Yeah. And if you see this guy, please phone the FBI. They yeah. are looking for him as well. So. FBI, police, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Cheers, see you, buddy. Cheers. Ciao.